American Ground Screw. Let's take a look at how to install the American Ground Screw. As with any digging or foundation install project, make sure to dial 811 or your local utility one call to locate your utility lines. Wear proper personal protection equipment. Locate your desired locations with flags or some other marking device. As with all foundation products, the American Ground Screw's performance depends on its interaction with the soil in which it's used. Prior to the start of any project, it's important to know the surrounding soil type. Ground screws perform differently in sandy soils than they do in denser clay soils. Without accurate information about soil type, only the lightest load capacities listed in the American ground screw load charts or in its ICC report can be used. Ground screws are installed using a low speed, high torque drive head. This drive head must be connected to the screw through the use of an adapter. The adapter is then connected to the screw either by engaging the three nuts found at the top of the Model 3 or the flange head on one of the many other models. In either case, make sure that the adapter and the screw are well seated or bolted tight prior to installation. While not required, Pre-drilled or driven pilot holes can help improve accuracy of installation of ground screws, particularly in hard soils. Pilot holes can also help identify large obstructions and the location of any bedrock in the soil. Should you choose to pre-drill or drive a rod or stake to form a pilot hole, maintain as close to plumb as possible and use a bit or stake no greater than one-third of the diameter or depth of the screw. Even with the use of a pilot hole, use a level to ensure both the screw and the structure it supports are level and plumb. A pipe and post level, bullet level, or laser level will all work well. Adjustments can still be made throughout installation down to two-thirds of the depth of installation. Like all screws, ground screws are installed in a clockwise rotation and uninstalled in a counterclockwise rotation. Ground screws gain their load capacity mostly due to compression of the surrounding soil during installation as well as friction between the soil and screw surface. To ensure maximum compression and friction, the rotation of the ground screw must be accompanied by the appropriate downward pressure, or crowd, to advance the screw one thread pitch per rotation. The thread pitch on all ICC certified ground screws is 40 millimeters or approximately one and a half inches. Therefore, the screw should advance downward one and a half inches per rotation. Failure to maintain the appropriate amount of downward pressure can result in churning or augering. Churning occurs when not enough downward pressure is applied and less than one thread pitch advances per rotation. This results in dirt coming up out of the hole. Augering occurs when too much downward pressure is applied and more than one thread pitch advances per rotation. This effectively turns the ground screw into a drill bit. Either churning or augering causes the screw to lose load capacity by losing the friction it achieves with the soil. Should excessive churning or augering occur, it may be necessary to remove and reinstall the ground screw. To prevent heaving due to frost, ground screws are designed to have at least two-thirds of their thread length installed below the local frost level. Frost level is the primary factor in determining length of ground screw to be used. ICC compliant ground screws must be installed to a minimum depth of 4 feet 11 inches to achieve the load capacities found in the ESR load data. For non-building code applications, Ground screws should be installed so that there is no more than 4 inches of the screw shaft left above grade. Load capacity data can be found in the American ground screwed load charts. Though ground screws do work well in cobbled and gravelly soil, if large obstructions are encountered, the hole may need to be pre-drilled. Pre-drill bedrock and granite with a rock bit slightly larger than the thread diameter of the screw. Then fill the hole with a blend of soil cuttings and 3 8 inch chip gravel. The screw will establish a strong hold with the surrounding soil through compression of the cuttings and gravel. During installation, 
If a void in the soil is encountered, causing churning, or is installed out of plumb or in the wrong location, screws should be removed and reinstalled to ensure proper compression and friction with the soil. American Ground Screw offers insertable flanges to connect screw products to a wide variety of building materials. Insertable flanges are placed in the screw so the flange top seats firmly on the screw's top. Three nuts at the top of the screw allow bolts to be installed to hold the flange firmly in place. Bolts should be installed in an alternating manner until flush against the nut. The interior shaft of the flange will be dimpled in the process to ensure a secure connection between the flange and the screw. American Ground Screw. The future is simple.